And what would a Danny Mel Collins match be without drama? The ladies headed out to the net to get it on. And this is as lovey dubby as they would get, ladies and gentlemen. Smile for the photo because it's a war. We pick up here in the third set. Anna Kylinskaya takes the first. Danny Mel bounces back in the second. And what would a Danielle Collins match be without a little bit of drama? Anna Kylinskaya makes Danny Mel wait on the baseline for over a minute to start the third set after the chair umpire said let's get it on he didn't give her a violation or a warning so i don't know about that one but danielle collins would not like it and she sent a heat seeking missile bomb straight laser beam back at anna collins kaya had her running for the locker room the lounge the bar might as well pour a drink because she had no chance of retrieving that rocket spun her around and the cameraman couldn't even get the shot that was ugly danny mel sent a rocket at her unbelievable she's looking for answers because she's running out of them broken to start the third set and danny mel would be forced to several deuces and a collins kaya had three breakpoint opportunities but the heat seeking missiles from Danny Mel too much she goes up to love here in the third set a two to one favorite to start the match you could have got her as a two to one underdog on the live after dropping the first set Danny Mel Collins now in control in the third set the highest ranked American left in the tournament and when they announced the ATX she was the first person to sign up can Danny Mel win it all in front of the hometown American fans? Yes, he's from Florida. Went to Virginia, snatched up a couple NCAA championships, and she's big time. And right now, Anna Collins Kaya, she's sweating bullets. It looked like she wanted to give up in the first service game of the third set. Her body language. I think she might find a way out. Stay tuned, guys. This might get ugly.